Welcome to DMV Pass. Hey guys, thanks a lot for your support. If you're new to this channel, feel free to subscribe now so you don't miss our future posts. This is a remix of previous school bus endorsement test part 2 video giving you 40 questions and answers to study before your test. As usual, I'll be reading all given answers to choose from for each question and reveal the correct answer after 5 seconds. In most states, if not all, the CDL bus test consists of 20 questions, and you'll need at least 16 correct answers, or 80%, to pass. Make sure you watch this video multiple times to maximize your chance of passing your school bus test with flying colors. Good luck! Question number 1. Skids caused by acceleration can usually be stopped by A. Taking your foot off the accelerator B. Swerving to the right C. Applying the brakes firmly D. Swerving to the left The correct answer is A. Taking your foot off the accelerator Question number 2 you should not use the parking brakes if A. The brakes are very hot B. The brakes are too dry C. The brakes are cold D. All of the above The correct answer is A. The brakes are very hot Question number 3 when approaching a traffic light that has been green for a long time, you should a. Maintain your current speed b. Speed up to get through the light c. Start slowing down and be ready to stop d. None of the above The correct answer is a c. Start slowing down and be ready to stop Question number 4. The brake and accelerator interlock system, if your bus has one. A. Applies the brakes when the rear door is closed. B. Is used to shut the air off and put on the trailer emergency brakes. C. Should never be used in place of the parking brake. D. Should be used in place of the service brake. The correct answer is C, should never be used in place of the parking brake. Question number 5. When crossing railroad tracks, you should A. Try to pass slower vehicles. B. Not stop. C. Put the transmission in neutral. D. Shift gears while crossing the tracks. The correct answer is B. Not stop. Question number 6. After stopping, you should A. Activate the alternating amber lights and ensure the stop arm is extended. B. Turn on the right turn signal indicator. C. Activate the alternating red lights and ensure the stop arm is extended. D. Have the students board the school bus as quickly as possible. The correct answer is C. Activate the alternating red lights and ensure the stop arm is extended. Question number 7. If your school bus is equipped with ABS, it will have A. A red ABS malfunction lamp on the instrument panel. B. A yellow ABS malfunction lamp on the instrument panel. C. An ABS certification on the driver's side area of the bus. D. None of the above. The correct answer is B, a yellow ABS malfunction lamp on the instrument panel. Question number 8. If you cannot make a right turn without entering another traffic lane, you should A, turn wide before you start the turn. B, turn wide as you complete the turn. C, swing wide to the left before starting the turn. D, watch out for vehicles coming toward you and back up for them. The correct answer is B. Turn wide as you complete the turn. 
Question number 9. When changing lanes, you should check your mirrors. A. After you complete the lane change. B. Before you change lanes. C. After you have signaled. D. All of the above. The correct answer is D. All of the above. Question number 10. If an evacuation is in the best interest of safety, after determining the best type of evacuation, what should you do next? A. Protect the scene. B. Walk through the bus to ensure no students remain on the bus. C. Secure the bus. D. Order the evacuation. The correct answer is C. Secure the bus. Question number 11. When driving, you should check your mirrors. A. Regularly. B. Every 10 seconds. C. Only when there may be a problem. D. Every 4 seconds. The correct answer is A. Regularly. Question number 12. When you double your speed, the braking distance is A. 4 times longer. B. 2 times longer. C. 3 times longer. D. The same. The correct answer is A. 4 times longer. Question number 13. When dealing with a drunk or disruptive rider, you must A. Ensure the rider's safety, as well as that of others. B. Take this rider to the closest police department. C. Discharge the disruptive rider immediately. D. All of the above. The correct answer is A. Ensure the rider's safety, as well as that of others. Question number 14. Buses may carry A. Drugs B. Emergency hospital supplies C. Small arms ammunition labeled ORMD D. All of the above The correct answer is D. All of the above Question number 15 In your mirror, you see a car approaching from the rear. The next time you check your mirror, you don't see the car. If you wish to change lanes, you should A. Assume the car left the roadway and change lanes as normal. B. Wait until you are sure the car isn't in your blind spot. C. Ease into the other lane slowly so the other car can get out of the way. D. None of the above. The correct answer is, B, wait until you are sure the car isn't in your blind spot. Question number 16. During unloading, if the school bus driver cannot account for a student outside the bus, the driver should. A, assume the student got back on the bus. B, secure the bus and check around and underneath the bus. C, walk through the bus to ensure the student is not on the bus. D. All of the above. The correct answer is B. Secure the bus and check around and underneath the bus. Question number 17. A school bus driver must evacuate the bus when A. The bus is stalled on the shoulder of a four-lane divided highway and it's snowing. B. The ABS is not working properly. C. You have pull off the road and stop. D. The bus is stalled on a railroad crossing. The correct answer is D. The bus is stalled on a railroad crossing. Question number 18. When a rider wants to board the bus with a car battery, you should A. Put the car battery in the aisle. B. Check that the battery does not contain any gasoline. 
C. Put the car battery at the back of the bus. D. Not allow the car battery on the bus. The correct answer is D. Not allow the car battery on the bus. Question number 19. If you realize you are going to be later to your destination than you expected, you should A. Speed up. B. Exceed the posted speed limit when no other vehicles are near. C. Do your best to avoid the delay. D. Deal with it and accept the delay. The correct answer is D. Deal with it and accept the delay. Question number 20. ABS, Anti-Lock Braking System. A. Keeps your wheels from locking when you apply the brakes hard. B. Does not decrease or increase your normal braking capability. C. Is an addition to your normal brakes. D. All of the above. The correct answer is D. All of the above. Question number 21. Hydroplaning is more likely if A. Tire pressure is low. B. Tire tread is worn. C. The road is wet. D. All of the above. The correct answer is D. All of the above. Question number 22. When stopping to pick up students, you should place the vehicle in A. Neutral B. In second gear C. Park D. Reverse The correct answer is C. Park. Question number 23. Baggage and freight should be secured in a way that a. Allows riders to easily identify their baggage before they get off the bus in an emergency. B. Allows riders to quickly take their baggage with them in an emergency. C. Blocks one exit, but allows riders to exit by any remaining window or door in an emergency. D. Allows riders to exit by any window or door in an emergency. The correct answer is D. Allows riders to exit by any window or door in an emergency. Question number 24. If you perform the skills test in a vehicle that is not equipped with air brakes. A. You will be required to take the tank vehicle test. B. You will be required to operate a CMV without hydraulic brakes. C. You will be restricted from operating vehicles with air brakes. D. You will be required to operate vehicles with air brakes. The correct answer is C. You will be restricted from operating vehicles with air brakes. Question number 25. To ensure passenger safety during loading and unloading, bus drivers should A. Allow passengers enough time to sit down or brace themselves before departing. B. Start and stop as smoothly as possible. C. Always ensure that passengers are safely on the bus before closing the doors. D. All of the above. The correct answer is D. All of the above. Question number 26. What should you do if your vehicle starts hydroplaning? A. Release the accelerator and push in the clutch to let the wheels turn freely. B. Apply the brakes and counter steer to regain control of the vehicle. C. Accelerate slightly and then push in the clutch to slow down. D. Leave the road completely. The correct answer is A. Release the accelerator and push in the clutch to let the wheels turn freely. Question number 27. In vehicles with air brakes, the air compressor governor. A. Controls when the air compressor will pump air into the air storage tanks. B. 
controls when the air storage tanks will pump air into the air compressor. C. Controls how much air the air compressor will pump into the air storage tanks. D. None of the above. The correct answer is A. Controls when the air compressor will pump air into the air storage tanks. Question number 28. You should position the overhead inside rearview mirror to see A. The students in the first three rows. B. The heads of the students right behind you. C. All of the students on the bus. D. The rear of the bus. The correct answer is C. All of the students on the bus. Question number 29. The driver's seat of a bus should have A. A pocket for storage. B. A seat belt. C. An emergency exit handle. D. A brake and accelerator interlock system. The correct answer is B. A seat belt. Question number 30. Air brakes use blank to make the brakes work. A. Compressed oil. B. Compressed gases. C. Compressed gas cylinders. D. Compressed air. The correct answer is D. Compressed air. Question number 31. It is safer to drive over rather than to avoid. Which of the following? A. Cardboard boxes. B. Paper and cloth sacks. C. Plastic containers. D. None of the above. The correct answer is D. None of the above. Question number 32. To correct a drive wheel braking skid, you should. A. Accelerate. B. Stop braking. C. Apply the brakes and turn in the direction of the skid. D. None of the above. The correct answer is B. Stop braking. Question number 33. When driving in a construction zone, if a construction worker is near the road, you should. A. Further reduce your speed. B. Speed up. C. Come to a complete stop. D. Maintain a constant speed. The correct answer is A. Further reduce your speed. Question number 34. How many drinks per hour can be handled by the liver? A. About three drinks per hour. B. About one drink per hour. C. About four drinks per hour. D. About two drinks per hour. The correct answer is B. About one drink per hour. Question number 35. At passive railroad crossings, even if there are active railroad signals that indicate the tracks are clear, you must blank to be sure it is safe to proceed. A. Stop, look, and listen. B. Go, stop and listen. C. Go, look and put the transmission in neutral. D. Listen, look and stop. The correct answer is A. Stop, look, and listen. Question number 36. If a student drops something in front of the bus, the student should A. Pick up the object as quickly as possible. B. Ask the driver to retrieve the item. C. Leave the item where it fell and get the driver's attention and permission to retrieve the item. D. Leave the item behind. The correct answer is C. Leave the item where it fell and get the driver's attention and permission to retrieve the item. 
Question number 37. When inspecting your bus, make sure that A. Emergency exit handles are in safe working condition. B. Seats are safe for riders. C. Signaling devices are working. D. All of the above have been checked. The correct answer is D. All of the above have been checked. Question number 38. A disabled bus with riders aboard the vehicle. A. Should only be pushed or towed by another bus. B. Should be towed or pushed, unless staying on the bus would be unsafe. C. Should be abandoned immediately. D. Should not be towed or pushed, unless getting off would be unsafe. The correct answer is, D, should not be towed or pushed, unless getting off would be unsafe. Question number 39. After starting the engine, the ABS light stays on. This means, A, the ABS oil level is not adequate. B, the ABS is working properly. C, the ABS is in neutral. D, the ABS is not working properly. The correct answer is D. The ABS is not working properly. Question number 40. Proper adjustment and use of all mirrors is vital to the safe operation of a school bus. A. In order to have the students exit in orderly fashion. B. In order to monitor the danger zones around the bus for students, traffic, and other objects. C. In order to see 500 feet or 10 bus lengths behind the bus. D. All of the above. The correct answer is A. In order to have the students exit in orderly fashion. Thanks for watching until the end. Are you willing to support this channel with a one time contribution? You can send us super thanks. Doing so will help us grow and more people will benefit from our work. We would be forever grateful if you do so. All you have to do is slide left on the section where the share button is located. Just tap on super thanks and follow the prompts. Thank you already for your support.